Hey, what's up, guys? Gino here, and today I'll be showing you the basics of Inspect Element and what this program can do. On my last video, I used this program, and yeah, I was thinking that you guys would ask me, "Oh, how did you do that on the homepage of YouTube.com?" Because I messed around with the text and stuff like that. But basically, what this program does is allows you to um edit any text on the page that you're on and edit and take images off the page and a whole bunch of more cool stuff. To get this program is really simple. Just go to google.com and once you get here, type in inspect element. And then right away it should pop up on the search engines, whatever. Um or the search engines that this program has it for. So as you see Firefox, Chrome, Safari and Internet Explorer. So pick whatever one you want and download it. And then once that's done, you can basically download it and install it. And then once it's installed, you can right-click your screen and there's like gonna be a thing down here called inspect element. Now I'm just gonna go to youtube.com where I can edit a lot of stuff and take images from and let me just sign into my account. And press sign in. Alright. So basically what this program does is allow you to change any text, like I said before, on a page. So let's say if I want to change the upload text right here, just go right click it, inspect element, and then this box will pop up. Now this box is not gonna be this big on your screen, it should be like down here, but you could just simply just come over here and resize it to however big you want. But I like resizing it so I can see what I'm working with. And also you can see where the highlighted part is already. And then you're gonna want to scroll down. And if you mess with this column over here, you can basically change the colors of the text. As you see, it's gray. And you can just come over here and put your own color code in it and change it. Or you can just come over here where it says upload and double click it and pick whatever you want. I'm just going to put my name, Gino. And as you see, the upload button changed to Gino. And now if I want to change my Astra logo or whatever, you come over here, right click it, come over here, edit it, and put, I'm just going to put my name, Giovanni save and then as you see it changed that so it looks pretty real and cool so that's a really cool thing you could do and you can also change this button right here this is how I changed it in my last video I basically changed the subscription and both of these things up here and it's really simple to do basically really but yeah see as you see Gino now that's but this button is Gino and if you want to take any images off this page you just gonna come over here to resources and then all this would be like this or well, up up like that. Come over here to frames, press right on your keyboard, go down with the down arrow, press right, and keep pressing right until you see images. And then once you see images right here, press right again. And basically this is all the images on the page. So yeah, it's really cool. Um just scroll down. These are all basically the icons on the channel. These are all the video thumbnail pictures as you can see. Yeah, stuff like that. But if you want this image, let's say for the for instance this one, all you gotta do is come down here to this URL and press it, and then bam, you can just right click it right here and download it, save image as. Or easier way is just make your page like halfway, and then take this image and drag it to your desktop, and then you can just rename it from right here to whatever you want. Big boobs, and let's name it to the the exact thing because if you right click it or if you come over here and save it as an image sometimes the file the JPEG does not go through so this is why I don't do it this way and I, I just drag and drop it because it's simple and easy and also if, let's say if I want for instance the Vexon logo just come over here take it drag and drop it and change the name so that's basically it really um it's really simple to do it's not that hard at all and if you go to your channel let me just exit this out you go also take people's backgrounds. I'm not showing you guys this to steal people's work or whatever. And stuff like that. But hey, this is what the program does. So you just come over here, inspect element, resources, and just look for the background. It should be the biggest um, image. As you can see, this is the longest one. And as you see right here, this is the whole background. Um, Yeah, this is how people steal work and take it and put it in as theirs. Um, another thing you could do is change around, mess around with here on your portfolio. You can maybe if somebody wants to take, okay, let me go to my custom logos 
and go to my logo that I'm using now. Oops. All right, let's say if somebody wants to take this one, just right click the page, inspect the element, and bam, you, could, you have control of every single image on this site, as you see right here. And then you maybe and you could just save and drag and drop like you did before. Really simple to do. Um, you can change the name of on anything really. Change the name anything anywhere basically. And there's a whole bunch of more things over here. Don't really know what they do, but the only ones I really use is elements and resources. If you want to go look around with this and see what this is and mess around with it, and be my guest and maybe drop a like or a comment, excuse me, below and tell me what it does. But yeah, guys, um, if you have any more video um, requests or suggestions or comments, or whatever, just drop a comment below and I'll be sure to answer them. Alright, guys, but until next time, guys, see you later. Peace.